Hi guys, welcome into today's video. Uh, my message for you today is just not copy YouTubers, but be very, very careful in doing any choice. Uh, you do. So I want to take the case of financial education. For the ones who don't know, is the most famous YouTuber on YouTube. Has a worth uh, net uh, of... Uh, millions of dollars and he's talking about the current risk in the market for 2023 and what he's doing to cover so he's long on several stocks so what he wants to do to cover the risk of those stocks going down is to uh, buy some call options on an instrument that is uh, short in the dow jones so, what is a call option? A call, a call option is an instrument that if at a certain date, if the price reaches a certain level, it will give, give you a lot of money. If the price is just one cent below that level, the, the call option is expiring at zero. The level is called strike price. So, for you to, to get money, you need to have the price when you sell much higher than this strike price. So what he's doing is uh, buying those call options to mitigate the risk of stock market going down because he's saying either the stock market goes up and I make money or the stock market goes down and I earn on those calls. Yeah, he's making the case that Dow Jones is really overvalued, and I agree with him. I was checking uh, the majority of stocks in the Dow Jones are very overvalued. Let me show you what he's saying. 15, 20% hit, right? I'm not counting on a 15% hit, but if that happens, that's going to be pretty extreme, right? So, nonetheless, the Dow has given us these false beliefs before, and I think it's giving us one, right? One, once again, right? And I covered in yesterday's video, unfortunately, those don't get the most views when I talk about the economy, right? When I talk about the stock market, it's uh, much more views, but I talk about the economy. Doesn't and that video he's I mentioning is very good, that the economy is, is, is crashing out. Basically right now shows the economy is getting bad, and it's getting bad fast. Fast, okay? And the Fed's not coming to help, right? If you want to get another person's pers perspective, check out Matt's video from last night. Fed is the Federal Reserve. Some of the same stuff I covered in my video, but he covered even more and that, than I covered. That matches to the fact of uh, risk-free rates. Uh, so he's not uh, doesn't want to reduce risk-free rates. That will not uh, make stocks go up for the risk-free rate things we saw yesterday in the lesson. Right, Fed Governor Brainard, which Matt would call a uh, brain dead. <laughs> Anyways, Brainerd sees high rates ahead, even with progress on inflation, right? She's saying, you know, don't don't expect us to cut rates anytime soon, baby. We're going to keep working against the economy. We're going to keep working against the market. Bowler basically wants to go 50 basis points this next, this next move, right? These are the various Federal Reserve governors. No, 50 basis points. He says, you know, we, we've, we've worked too hard and come too far to, to try to stop now. Keep going, man. Keep going with the rate in increases. And let's, let's really just kill this inflation, right? So the Fed is very, very committed to destroying inflation. Now, will they go too far? In my opinion, they probably will, as they went too far on the other side as well. And so, now, if they don't, let's say they cut rates anytime soon, then obviously that risk on assets are going to do amazing. Those call options will likely expire worthless, which will be fine with me, because Tesla will go to the moon and Meta and all those stocks, right? And so... You know, it'd be like a, a small amount of money to lose versus a massive amount of money to, to, to make in that situation, right? So nonetheless, the Fed's not coming to save us. Okay, guys, so yeah, be very, very careful. Uh, the point he's making is that uh, either the stock market will go up, so he will make money on the longs, or the stock market will crash, so he will make money with those calls. There is a third scenario, though, that is very possible. Wall Street will keep the market uh, not going up and not going down for several months. Why they would do so? 
because of those uh, people that will open put and Wall Street is generally at the side of uh, selling those uh, instruments because it's much more expensive people like uh, me can't afford to sell those uh, puts or calls because they have unfinished uh, risk side so there is a risk where the economy goes bad stock market has a kangaroo style and goes up and down your longs stay at the same level and your calls are uh, losing uh, value and expiring at zero value so very very risky move guys my my plea to you don't copy because you risk not to gain from the longs and to have these calls falling at zero thank you guys have a great rest of the day